What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another Dyslexic Reacts. Today we're going to be checking out two videos. The first is Inky Switcher, followed up by another request for Anel for uh, Sweet Baseline Madness. This was requested by MLook88, so thank you for getting that request in. Uh, but before I jump into things, as always, just want to quickly remind you so to check the links in the description so that you can go and support the original videos and creators involved. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this uh, Inky video that uh, already looks like it's going to be very visually interesting. <laughs> already interesting okay inky the change up nice product placement Okay, so Inky, uh, actually don't know a whole lot about him. I know that he had a lot of controversy around whether or not his second device was cheating. Now, it seems to not be the, uh, not, it doesn't seem to be an argument anymore, um, since a lot of people are using that style of second device, so, uh, um, other than that, I know a lot of people found what he did in 2019 to be so different and so impressive that it made those conversations seem more real because they're like, how is he doing this stuff? It's He definitely uh, made a big splash in the Loop Station community when he uh, showed up for GBB 2019. So definitely disappointed to not have seen him in 2021's GBB. But um, he had other things he wanted to do, so so be it. Um, now about this actual video, um, it's interesting because it was definitely very good, um, very very well textured, very sonically interesting and dynamic. 
that being said, not the best video to react to because it wasn't all that hype, no intense, no drops, just very, very solid, clean, textured kind of spacey vibe throughout. And I really, really enjoyed it. But as a viewer, it may not have been as interesting to watch me because I was mostly just like, okay, I see what he's doing. This sound good. This sound good. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy going on here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the textures and just like the change up in the progression of those sounds throughout the entire song. Very, very impressive. Um, definitely one of the more unique and skilled loopers out there right now. So uh, definitely hope to see more of him in the future. But um, third Anel video I've reacted to recently. Every time I do, people keep asking me to check out more. And so I will. Um, apparently this one does another good job of showing his bass techniques, I believe is what the comment originally said. Um, so something that really has been impressing me a lot. So definitely want to uh, check out another video where he's showing it off. So uh, here we go. Yo, it's NL from Rock on Zippy Big Shout out to Speed Post Pony. It's interesting. I definitely have some stuff to say about this one. I'm just going to pause it real quick. I'll, I'll go back just so that we don't miss anything, but I'm going to pause it real quick and give some thoughts before I forget when the drops come in. Um, so far, not a huge fan of this. Um, not because it sounds bad, but it, 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 well, part of it is because it sounds bad, but not what he's doing sounds bad, but the audio is kind of muffled, kind of, uh, doesn't sound like it's coming through a very good mic. Um, there's not a lot of depth to the highs or the lows on this. It's just mainly mids that I'm hearing. So that's, that's, that's one thing that's making this less enjoyable. Um, but also it doesn't really feel like it has any sort of flow or progression or musicality to it. It just kind of feels like, like we we're a minute and 40 seconds in and I feel like I've heard maybe four four or five different quick ideas. They're not like abrupt transitions between them, so it's not horrible, but it feels like it's just like he, he's just shown a couple of different patterns that he's thought of, but it doesn't feel like there's anything actually like, it doesn't feel like a track, like there's any sort of progression from the start to where we are. It just feels like it's been like a couple different things being shown off. I don't know. Um, every time I start getting into something and being like, okay, I like where this is going. It like goes somewhere completely different and kind of loses the, the energy that that first part had built, uh, for me, but we'll see, uh, before, well, one positive thing I do want to say though, 
obviously he knows why people are impressed mostly by him. Like his beatboxing is good too, but his bass, like sweet baseline madness. The other song was like bass something. The other song was something, something bass. Like he knows that people are here for his insane bass, but unlike other people who have a signature sound that is insane and like what people know them for, he doesn't revolve his entire routine around it. So even though what I think is most interesting about his style is his bass, I like that he is still also doing just technical, normal beatboxing as well, instead of just being a bass god. Um, but yeah. See, like, that's kind of what I'm talking about. His transition there was actually really good. Like, I thought that transition was actually really good. Like, it would have get added points instead of taking points away normally how I feel about transitions. But, like, it also feels like he only did the previous idea for, like, 10 seconds and then transitioned into another idea. But it, there is that common <laughs> noise he's doing, the high pitch kind of that that's consistent between both of them so that's why it, the transition is really good but like the flow and the pattern just changes so much that there really isn't any like i can't keep going through the song and being like all right yeah 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 well it's it's going it's progressing it just kind of feels like i get into one groove and then it's something else but yeah <laughs> Like that last part and this part are both sick. <sighs> Looks like he was hitting hard. Damn, that's crazy. Real quick, I, I just want, I'm going to say it again, but I just, I'm going to, because I, I, I hope you, by me pausing and talking about it multiple times, you can start to see and understand where I'm coming from, if you don't already. Again, even now that he switched to showing off his base and the different abilities he has with it that are all insane, it feels just kind of like a bunch of small showcases of different ideas he's had. Like, it doesn't, there's no structure, there's no flow 
throughout the entire track it just feels like every 30 seconds he's like all right done with that idea let's do a new one and there are, are some issues like he's missed some of his timing is off and things like that um i i'm guessing just based off of how he looks and well let's just look 2020 so anyway, i mean it's it's nearly two years old like a year and a half probably so he's definitely changed a lot like in his other videos this wasn't something that i was harping on and having issues with so maybe that was just the style of video that was popping off at the time and that's what he went with uh but yeah just I, I, i'm saying this because i feel like if you're watching me react to this right now it's not all that interesting because i'm like occasionally getting into it but then just like for like five ten seconds and then i'm back to like trying to figure out what what just happened um but yeah we don't <laughs> That sounds so real. Like that slowdown, I don't know what it is. I've heard that sound used in music where it's like, I don't know. Um, his sounded exactly like a sound I've heard in songs many times. And so like, again, that's what I'm saying. Like this, the, Anel obviously has a bunch of abilities, a bunch of unique techniques just within his bass by itself, but he can do all these other pad. Like he, he can obviously beatbox as well. Like not that I'm not doing a good job explaining this. He is more than just the bass. He, he can do all of these other styles of beatboxing and i think that may be what he was trying to show here by doing so many different styles back to back to back to back but um for me when it doesn't have that kind of structure to it that makes sense it's hard for me to get into it um so hopefully that all makes sense i'm not going to talk as much at the end of this video because i feel like i paused and talked quite a bit about how i was feeling I will just say, obviously, Anel's got some crazy shit going on, and I'm excited to see what he continues to do with it, because even just a year later and then a year and a half later, the stuff I've heard from him in the past month has been drastically improved beyond this. Um, so yeah, I think he's got a crazy couple years ahead of him of growth, and we're going to be seeing a lot out of him if he wants to continue this journey, because I I, I feel like the the textures he's doing on his base are unmatched and uh if, if there's anything i've learned about watching gbb with king inertia it's that people love textured base um so he's definitely got that going for him but that's gonna be it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did and you're not already subscribed please consider doing so and until next video i hope you all have a great rest of your day and peace